Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 28 of C Programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning about the do while loop, which is very similar to the while loop, except the only difference is you at least run through your loop once. You execute your code first, and then you test for your condition at the end of the loop, which is different from the while loop, where you test the condition at the top before running any of your code. So that's what this tutorial is on, the do while loop. So to get started, um, we're just going to create a simple integer. So int, and we'll call it num, and we'll give it the value of 5. So num gets the value of 5, and the do while loop looks like this. We have the do, and then we make a curly brace. Our statements go inside there, and then we end it with a curly brace, and then we have to make our while with the condition. So inside this, we will say do, and then we'll make a printf saying um, went oops, went through loop, and then uh, that's that just signifies that we went through the loop once, and then um, we'll say num plus plus. So now for a condition, we're going to do something a little weird. We're going to say num as long as num is less than three. Um, this loop will continue. So obviously if we did a while loop um, num is greater than 3 so then it would not actually execute the while loop. But that's what's special about the do while loop is that we have to execute the code at least once. So um, for this case we will go through the loop once and then it'll find that the condition um, it can't pass the condition so then it will go it will get out of the loop. So let's go ahead build and run this so let's run, and as you can see, went through the loop. So um, basically all that means is we executed this code once, and then the while loop, when we got to the condition, it found that it was false. So let's uh, change this up just to show how it works in different cases. Let's change this number to 7, so num gets a value of 5 to start. We'll print out went through the loop once, num now becomes 6, but this condition is still true because 6 is less than 7, so we'll go through the loop one more time. So we should have two went through loops. So let's build and run this, and as you can see, went through the loop appears twice. So that's how the do while loop works, and we'll show, I'll have different examples later on of how the do while loop is very useful, and it may not seem that useful right now, but um, believe it or not, it can be um, very useful later on. Anyway, um, this is the tutorial on do while loops. If you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comments or feel free to send me a message. And please leave your suggestions for any new topics that you want me to cover on the channel page. See you next tutorial.